This is going to be a very short overview about um, how to find your way around on a Unix system, particularly if you are using a high performance computing cluster. So you would usually um, use some sort of software to log in. And when you log in, you'll be, um, you get a prompt like this. So the prompt I've got here, for example, is um, it starts with my username and then the name of the machine I'm logged into. And then this will have a greater sign. Um, some prompts will have a dollar sign, for example, which is a standard bash prompt as well. And, and then you have a cursor behind it. So that's the slightly um, gray box there on the left hand side. <clears throat> so when you first log in, um, you usually end up in your home directory and to check where you actually are in the unix system there is a very simple command it's pwd and it's called and it's a short for print working directory and so it basically prints the current directory you're in so if i press enter now it tells me that i'm in home and then my username so that's my home directory now the other thing that you want to know what's actually there so are there any files in there any directories or data or anything so for this we can use the listing command and the short for that is ls and if i put enter it shows me what's currently in my home directory and so it comes up on this system with very nice colors and so there's some blue ones and some red ones, some green, green ones and some white ones. Um, so if you, the system you're using doesn't have these colors, there is a different way of showing this up. And so for the colors here, the, um, the blue ones are directories. The green ones are an executable like a program and the white ones are standard text and the red ones here in this case are archives so to show this a different way if you don't have the colors what is what you can use what we call a flag to a command so for the ls command the listing command you can provide extra options and that gives you um, an extended ability to do things with commands so the ls command is not just able just to list anything that's there where you are but you can sort things you can present things you can print things out in a different way and you're using flags to do that and the flag usually starts with a minus and we're going to use the minus capital f flag and so if i press that and now compare the output to what was above with a standard ls command without the flag and I'll see that all the blue ones have a slash behind it and that signifies a directory. The green one has a little star behind it and that means that it is, it is an executable. The um, white ones have nothing, so they're standard text files and in principle the archives that are read um, are also in principle. Um, um, no, they don't have a signification under this um, printout basically. If you would have a link in there, then you would have the at sign behind those. So this is kind of a way of finding out what's around. So what? So how did I know the minus capital F flag? So with the Unix system, the problem is that you don't have nice drop down menus where you can choose and click and be presented with different options. So you, you, you mostly have to actually know what commands to use. PWD and LS are very essential commands that every user under Unix should know. But how do you find what options are available for a command? And so there's different ways of doing this. So one is typing LS and then minus minus help. And if you then press enter, whoops, it all, a help menu comes up. The problem with this is that you have to scroll up and down to see what's going on and find your different options. And so this one will basically print everything out in one go and you end up at the bottom of the menu. 
a better way and more uh, easier to navigate way is to use the manual pages and I'm going to clear my screen first if you ever want to get a fully clear screen again you type clear press enter and your screen is clear so we can use the manual pages instead of the minus minus help option and so to get the manual pages you type man man and then the command ls in our case and if i now press enter it comes up with the manual pages for this command the nice thing about the manual pages is that you can use the down arrows and the up arrows and even um, page down and page up to navigate these um, these manual pages which makes it a lot easier to go around them if we now look right at the bottom of the screen there is the minus capital F option and it basically says this option appends indicator one of each to the entries depending on what they are so it also tells you how to get out of the manual pages again and that is by um, pressing quit or typing quit and you get out of them again so these are different ways of doing it now what happens if you don't actually know a command but you're looking for a command and so there's another way of doing this so if I didn't know the ls command I could still use the manual pages and I use man and I'm going to use a flag for that and that is minus little k and that means I'm going to give the manual page a keyword and the keyword can be anything so if I'm going to type listing let's see what happens because I want to have I'm looking for a command that does some listing for me of my files and let's see what happens there okay so there's doesn't really look like anything in there what about just list there is a lot and so if we now have a look through this if we see sometimes you get a lot and you have to play with your options I'm trying to find the ls command And so there it is. I'm going to put it right at the top of the screen. And so ls and that list directory contents. And there's different listing commands here that one can have a look at. And so they can be really, really useful. So sometimes playing a little bit with the keyword will give you a different set of possible commands that you might be after. Okay, so now we've um, learned about using the pwd command that gives us our current working directory. So where are we? Um, we learned about the ls command and how to use that to list what's in the current working directory. And what, what happens now with the ls command, for example, if I want to know what's in another directory? So at the moment, if I type ls, it will give me what's in my current directory. But can I have a look at other ones as well? Sure, you can. So we can give it a directory. So I'm going to use the one that is called G61, um, which is right here at the top. And I can list what's in that directory by not just typing ls, but then a space and then giving it the directory I would like the listing of. So if I type ls g16, it now tells me what's actually in that directory. And if I can spin this further, I can go ls g16 and then use the tar, the tar directory, and see what's in there. And so there's further directories and an archive. And so I can spin this even further and I go lsg16 slash tar slash let's have a look in a little g16 and see what's in there. And 
so you can take this as far as you like as far as there's directory for you to look at so um, you can use the ls command to look what's in your current working directory and you can use it to look further into these directories that are presented to you